live in this community? Boog, you live in this community? Okay, so look, this one of your daughters. That's right. That's right. When we going over with her, this is for you to know too, bro. That's right. Who's the leaders, bro? Right. Who are the leaders? That's the right. Men. Get That's it again. Right. Bring, it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Butt, brother. Bring it out. The only time you say butt is to negate something. That's, That's right. right. Why are you trying to negate the men as being leaders? That's right. Because you've not seen real leaders. That's right. The Christian right. church has not produced no leaders. Right. right. That's why we here, brother. That's right. Because we got to build you up. Right. That's our sister. We going over how our sisters are supposed to be dressed. Right, right, right. And you as a man are supposed to be addressing sin when you see it in your that's community. Right. That's right. Bring it in Proverbs 8 and 4. Listen to this. Bring it out. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 4. Bring, Bring it out. Unto you, O men, I call. Unto you who? O men, I call. So now, this message is for you. Now, we're dealing directly with one of the sins of our sisters. Give me Isaiah 58 and 1. Yes, sir. Yes. But yes. you as a leader, you're supposed to be protecting the community. That's right. You understand or you not agree right. with that? Right. Who we waiting on, Boogie? I agree on you. Who we waiting on? Right. Okay, let's go. Bring it out. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Bring it out. Cry aloud. Spare not. So the Bible says cry aloud, all right? That's why we talk loud. Right. That's why we have speakers. Right. Because we speak like men. That's right. Free. Spare not. Spare not. That means you know what? Some of our people like the sister that tried to pull you away. She don't want to hear correction. Right. But that don't mean we ain't going to bring it out. That's right. Because this is love according to the Bible. Right. We have to correct our people before the wrath of God comes to this place. That's, That's right. right. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet Read. and show my people their transgression uh -huh. and the house of Jacob their sins. Now, my sister, you say you love God, right? Okay, so now, maybe you haven't been taught this. Boogie, what about you? How you feel about God? Huh? God good to you? Okay, look, so now, do you love God? Let's see how we love God biblically. Okay, because we can't love God the way we feel like it. Teach your people. He gave us instructions. Right. And what now? Can, can your children say I love you, but then do what they want to do? Bring it out. Bring it out. Can my children say they love me? But do what they want to do. Hell no. So then how you think God feel? Right, bro. All right, so let's Same do this. Way. Let's do what the Bible say. First John okay. chapter 5. Verse 3. Uh -huh. Bring it out. For this is the love of God, uh -huh. that we keep his commandments. Uh -huh. right. Read it again. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, uh -huh. and his commandments are not grievous. So now, the way we show that we love God is we keep the commandments that he gave to us. That's right. We do the things that he gave to us. Do you That's agree right. with that or not? Have you ever heard that before? You have heard that before? Okay, so then let me ask you something. I'm gonna ask both of you a question. So what's some of the commandments that refer to a young woman that are in this Bible, okay, that we supposed to keep? Do you know? Okay, so you were supposed to be taught these things, right? But hold up, but see, you gotta realize, she wasn't taught like that. That don't make her don't That's know. That's why we oh, here. Right. Listen, let me, tell you, let me tell you one thing right quick. Let me tell you one thing. I'm old school. I understand what y'all saying. I agree 100% with y'all. You think you in a different era than me, bro? Bro. Come you on. Talk, Hold on, Nave. No, because you distracting the no, sister no. from getting the word. Give me that. It's Give me that. Sister, it's man. It's different, all right, all right. First yeah, Timothy 2 and 9. Read. Bring it out. Bring it out. And, and, so you saying it's a better way to word things no. than reading it straight out the Bible, right? Come on, bro. Come on. Bro. Come on. You trying to get out of your responsibility, boy. Yes. Hey, we ain't, we ain't, you ain't fooling nobody. You trying to get out your responsibility, boy. Right. But we here to build you up, bro. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 9. You see that? Hey, hey, a leader don't walk away with solutions coming out, bro. That's right. A real leader. Don't walk this way when solutions coming out. Listen. Hold your peace. I'm gonna give you the floor. Yeah, yeah. But you this got one. but we gotta address this something. This don't, Read. This don't In like manner also that women adore themselves. The Young women. Now this is what don't Boogie and the rest of the men in the community should have been teaching you, sister. What? Read. Adorn themselves in modest apparel. That's so right. Young ladies are supposed to adorn themselves 
and modest apparel. Do you know what that is, sister? Do you know what modest apparel is? Huh? Apparel is close. Do you know what modest apparel means? No? Okay. Modest apparel is not one thing to bring attention to yourself. I'm not saying that. Deuteronomy 22 and verse 5. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Bring it out. The woman shall not wear that which partaketh or to a man. That's you want the mic? Book, book, you want the mic? Boogie the mic. Of they sell mics and there's plenty of corners where people doing sin. That's right. right. Mic to teach your people, Boogie. That's Read it right. again. Read out. The woman shall not wear that which partaketh or to a man. Uh -huh. Neither to a man put on a woman's corner. Now, where my brother that got the Bible that's holding it up like we do in church, put it up under our, our shoulder when we go into church, but we don't read, Bring nor do we do that's any right. of the things that God said. Give me 1 Samuel 2 and 3. Bring it up. Yeah, boys, brother. I see you got your Bible. Come on up. Come on up and dialogue with us, brother. What's your name, brother? Not about what my name is, who I stand for. Okay, well, who you stand I for? I stand for Christ. You stand for Christ? Christ. Give me John 14 to 15. Yeah. Yeah. This, hey, hey, we yeah. stand for Christ. Yeah. So, yeah. so, hey, hey, so brother with you no name, Hebrew if you stand Israelite. for Christ, this is what you going to do. Hebrew is like. John chapter 14, verse 15. Bring it out. If he loves me. So, this is proof positive that brother my, does my, not stand for Christ. Hey, he good. don't love God. Yeah. Hey. When the word of God is coming out, Lord he wants God to be a distraction. He wants right. to bring attention to sense. himself. Right. What's going on, my brother? And God spoke to this one. If he loves me, oh, keep my eight. commandment. That's right. Ask him to Act prove what he said seven. in the Bible. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Oh, you know